Here's a great little advanced tip for sharpening faces in your footage. Here you can see this sample talking head video of mine with a little bit of sharpening applied to my face. Here is it on, here is it off. I know it's probably hard for you to see when you're watching the compressed version of this online, maybe on a small mobile device or something like that. But let me walk through the process of doing this a better way than just editing than just adding sharpening to all of your footage. So here I have a brand new clip without any effects to it right here. But you can see if I zoom in, my footage is just a little bit sh not perfectly sharp. And you might run into this problem. We've seen before that in the creative tab, you can just sharpen up your footage like this with this sharpen slider, but that's going to sharpen everything. And if we do that, it's adding a little bit of noise to the background and we don't want that noise. So go down to your HSL secondary panel and what we're going to do is do a selection of our skin tone. So whoever's face you're trying to sharpen, select that skin tone, click the gray button, right color slash gray button so we can see our selection. I'm going to go ahead and click this plus button and click in my eye. I want to make sure that I'm selecting more of this selection than just my skin, but I also want to get my eye in there as well. So you want to make sure that you're expanding this as much as you need and using the blur and denoise sliders to make sure that your, your eyes and your lips are also being selected as well. Okay, so that's a pretty good place to start. And now we have this specific sharpen adjustment down here where we are sharpening just that selection, just my face, not the background. I'm not adding any noise or anything to the background. I'm just sharpening my face, maybe even, even adding a little bit of contrast. And if that contrast adds too much color, we can drop that down just a little bit with the saturation slider. And that's going to make our faces pop just a little bit before more. So I can turn this on or off, on, off, on. You don't want to go too crazy with it. You start to get a little bit digital with it if you're adding too much sharpening, but just that little bit of sharpening and contrast can help make it pop and feel like there. if you miss focus just subtly, you want to get those eyes as sharp as possible. So that's a quick advanced tip. Hope it helps and we'll see you in another lesson.